All right, guys, so what you can see here is we've got a coyote in a fence in there, and he is caught by the neck. I'll get his foot out of the way here. He is hung right around the neck in a perfect catch. He's already dead. Decent sized coyote, he's not bad. It's not a great big one, but it's one less coyote in the area. And these fence snares can be very, very effective for coyotes. But again, most snares are gonna be a one-time shot. So you're gonna put it in the fence, you catch a big animal like this, he's gonna run around a little bit until he gets that thing tightened up enough to choke himself out with. And so he's going to make a mess out of the snare. So we'll get the snare off of him now, and we'll reset a new snare in the same spot, and I'll show you how I set that up. Stay with me. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a duck under in a farmer's fence line. And it's beat down to the dirt. Now there's some blood here now from this coyote. We'll see if it catches again, but I would say it probably will still catch again. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a snare stand, which is just a metal stand, and I'm going to shove it in the dirt here, if I can, right beside this fence, just like this. And then I'm going to take my snare and open it up to the size loop I want. And there's a whammy on here that I can just screw right on to the edge of this pole. It's like a spring. And I can screw that on, and then I want to adjust that snare to the size I want and get it adjusted to where I want it in the trail. And I just take my snares with a quick connect and I just chain them right to the fence. That way that dude ain't going anywhere. He's not going to pull that brand new barbed wire fence down. So I'll screw that on there really fast and then I want to make my adjustments. And if I think this animal's just going to walk under this fence, then I may raise this up just a little bit to get it ahead level. But I want it right in the center of that trail. And I want it big enough that he can get his head in there but not big enough that he's gonna get his legs in there. So you kinda of gotta fiddle with that and get it to where you want it. But you can see with that last catch, you know, something about the diameter of a basketball or a volleyball is about what you want for a coyote because once he goes through there, his legs down in here are gonna hit that snare and it's gonna drop down right around his neck. And as soon as he takes off under that fence, he's gonna get hung in that snare and he's gonna suffocate pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of move some of these leaves over this blood. Nothing's going to fool these coyotes in me at all because it's not. But at least it'll get some of the scent moved around. And then I'm going to have to come over here. Now see, I just knocked my snare down, so I've got to readjust that now. That's not a big deal, though. You want that thing pretty sensitive. Now I'm going to have to come over on this other side over here because when he was hung in that snare, he was running around this pole. So now he's got that beat down pretty good on the other side over there and I'll have to block that somehow or put some kind of a fencing in there so that the animals will come through here and not go through there now. But then we should catch another coyote here. It might not be today, might not be this week, it might be next week, but we'll get another coyote in a spot. 